Much like the rest of the kart racing genre, this game contains item boxes which we can run over to collect what Space Race calls a gag, referring to the cartoons. You'll notice me just call them by their far more generic term of item. I won't explain in detail what every item in the game does, you should learn that through casual play. Nor will I talk about any items that we don't unlock and thus don't show up in the run. First, let's talk about the items that can hit you at any time in the race, the two homing items. The pink elephant can be picked up by anyone who is not in first and targets the person in first. Because of this, the pink elephant is the item you'll come across the most. In casual play, the intended mechanic of avoiding the elephant is to use a turbo, but that doesn't apply to us. The first way we can avoid it is to rapidly change our momentum. A well-timed swerve can achieve this, as can Marvin's brakes. In fact, simply going around a corner fast enough with Marvin can be all it needs to throw the tracking off. A similar effect can be obtained by going above or off the track. Since the game doesn't know where you are, the elephant can't hit you. This brings us on to the other tracking item, the Kablooey Rockets. These are only a threat to you if the AI in second place uses them. Again, going above or off the track means they can't hit you, and they sometimes have tracking issues in wide sections of the track. Plus remember that going at full speed, you are faster than the rockets, so this item is far less troublesome than it seems. Let's move our attention to the environmental items that you will definitely face in the All Tournaments category. First, fake Acme boxes. Not much to say here, they've got rather large hit detection, fly over them if you can. Next is the hair oil. This is supposed to make you lose control when you drive over it, but we can mitigate the damage. The first point of interest is that it doesn't stop you from accelerating or braking, which can save you from falling off. The next thing to know is that if you are not inputting anything when you go across the oil, you retain full control of your character besides the spin animation. So the best course of action if you feel like you're about to drive over it is to let go of your controls and then carry on. Or again, oil can be just avoided by jumping. Finally, the most irritating of the environmental items are the portable holes. Like the other two, these only really pose a problem in the relevant Acme event and can be avoided by jumping over them. Handily in this event though, the game throws you a bone by making every item you pick up a four-leaf clover. Using one of these will ignore any item you come across. I saved the four-leaf clover for last because as the player, it's the most important. Any item you pick up that isn't a four-leaf clover is almost always worth discarding. When you use the clover is situational. You may be faced with an unavoidable pink elephant and want to use it, or you may want to keep it for when you lap other races, as this is the only time you're at risk from the shorter ranged items. And that's it! Everything you need to know about Looney Tunes Space Race in a general sense. In the description of this video, I'll have a link to a playlist which runs through all the different tracks and their shortcuts, but with the knowledge you've just gained, you may want to go out and find your own. Either way, thanks for watching.